Hi everyone, welcome to Loop and Mabel's Closet. My name's Jane. So today's vlog is another one of my cosy autumn vlogs and I'm going to be chatting about a lovely little mini winter fabric haul, the update on my ready to wear poppy pinafores and update on my Dorothy dress. So please stay tuned. <music> Welcome back. So before I get started, just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody for all your amazing, supportive, encouraging comments on my last uh, autumn vlog where I was chatting about my new venture going into actually making my designs into ready to wear garments and obviously into patterns. And it was, I was just blown away. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the pre-orders that I've had for the poppy pinny for I totally could not believe it and they are all cut out ready to uh, go I'm just waiting on the sewing labels and they'll be going out very soon so thank you so much for that and these are the ones in question that are now ready to be listed in my shop so I've just spent the afternoon chopping and changing my clothes to model them for you so all I need to do now is list them in my shop do all, obviously write up all the listings, all the details, sizing and what have you. And with the Poppy Pinny 4, what I've done rather than doing individual sizes, I have like grouped two sizes together because the bodices are quite a nice loose fitting bodice. So there's plenty of room. So you get, there's enough room for two sizes there. So I've done like small, medium, large, what have you. So they will all be listed in the shop and they've all got pockets obviously got to have a pocket but what I've done I've been using up my remnants of fabrics where I can will match in with the colour shades and they've all got gorgeous pretty secret pockets and whatever they've got in the pocket bag they have on the back in a matching button so I'll show you the matching button so really pretty. I'm really pleased how this collection's turned out my first collection. This is the pumpkin colour. So then we've got this dusky pink with its equally pretty secret pocket and matching buttons on the back. So that is the dusky pink. And then we've got the olive green which is so rich, I absolutely love this. And the buttons on the back to match the pockets again. And then finishing off. And then we've got the mustard with, again, delicious pockets and matching buttons on the back. So all these are waiting for now, these are ready to go. All these are waiting for now is my embroidered labels that will get stitched in. I'm waiting for them to come back from the embroidery suppliers. So they are all ready to go and I really enjoyed making them. As I said, all the others are all cut out and half made. I've been trying to sew in like in stages, in batches and obviously been covering buttons as well. So the pretty buttons to go on the back. So depending on what your pocket lining is, your buttons going to match. So that's so that's the poppy pinny for and as I say it's all graded so that's I'll be working on the rest of this week getting the pattern digitized and then I can get it on PDF for you to download and also printed for the printed version. So it's going along really well so far. I'll quickly show you all the packaging that I've got all printed and that's arrived the other day. So I've got a cute postcard to go inside every box that gets sent out with your order. And then obviously my logo on the back. Super pleased with how they've turned out. And then they will all have my logo, swing tag, so just the details, the size on the back and care instructions and obviously the design name. 
they will be attached to. I'm really pleased with how they've turned out. Uh, I totally love the logo, which I designed myself. And the sewing labels will be the same in that, that, that design, that logo there for the sewing labels. And then I've got my boxes. Everything will be shipped in a delicious box as well and obviously tissue paper. So quite pleased so far, everything is going to plan. It could all go pear-shaped yet, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, all I'm waiting for, as I say, is my sewing labels. They can get them stitched in there and then they will be ready to go. And I have obviously got my six pre-orders. They're ready to go. I just need the labels for them. And then they'll be shipping themselves across the world, in fact. Yes, they will. So super pleased with all of that. So... I'll keep you posted on how they go and obviously as soon as they're listed in my shop I'll do a post on Instagram and as soon as the Poppy Pinny for pattern is published then I'll be going on to my second design which will be the olive blouse. So that will be the next one that I'm going to work on but I thought I'd work on each one design at a time just so I just keeps me focused and I don't get overwhelmed with it all because my lists, to-do list is just like forever. So I thought if I just concentrate on one design, then once that's complete, I can tick off all the boxes, then I can move on to the next design. But the hardest part really is getting the patterns published. As soon as they're published, then they're done, aren't they? Then I don't have to worry anymore about that. And then I can concentrate on working on some new designs. But I just try to pace myself. And I've got the four designs that I want to work through first. Obviously, I've got the poppy pinny for the olive blouse. Then I've got the ruff, the primrose ruffle dress, and then my Dorothy dress, which is what I'm wearing. So I've made three of the Dorothy dresses so far, just to see how they look with different fabrics, trying out different fabric compositions, see how if the fit changes or anything like that. And I'm really pleased. I'm going to make one more in linen. So I'll pop some pictures of what me wearing in the garden and this is a long sleeve tee that I just made and the colour goes perfect with this. This is one of the uh, fabrics that I had that I did a vlog for where I made some long sleeve tees and the colour could not match Eve any better than this at all. And obviously I popped a raggy brooch on for today. And then I made one, if you, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have probably seen this one. I made this one in this gorgeous floral cotton poplin. I just really wanted to see what it was like, would be like in the cotton poplin and it works absolutely fine. Love it, really do love it. I know it's quite a spring flowery, summery type of fabric, but who says it has to be worn in the summer? I wore it with a long sleeve tee and my crochet snug and I was super duper pleased with how that looked even in the autumn. So that's the one I did in the cotton poplin and they've all got the zip, the invisible zip. And this is the one I did in Liberty fabric, my first ever Liberty fabric, and it is just, it's, it's a cotton lawn, and there's very little difference between the cotton lawn and the cotton poplin, if I'm honest, to be fair. Uh, I would say the only difference is it's a slightly softer. This is more crisp, I would say. But I'm sure once it's laundered, it'll become just as soft as the lawn. And I think that's the only difference. So either fabric will work and the linen will work absolutely fine as well. But this fabric is absolutely gorgeous. This gorgeous ditzy print, shall we say. Surprise, surprise, another ditzy print. But that's what I like. So that's what I'm going to make. And I absolutely love. So I'm just really pleased how... The Dorothy dress has turned out. I didn't do anything different. The only thing I did slightly different in this last version was for the facing, because obviously it's got the facing on the, the wrap section. I just, uh, the facing originally came in and got stitched in here and at the sides. I just extended the facing. So instead of it coming around and scooped, I just it came around and then I brought it down. So it's, You've got a nice straight edge to stitch in when you're putting the bodice to the skirt. Um, just just easier for you to make sure that you get it stitched in rather than, than it being on a slight curve, which 
you could like not quite get it in properly. So that's the only difference I did and that works absolutely spot on. You can just see there a little bit more of the facing across. And again with its with the zip and the darts and it's just a lovely fitted fitted silhouette on it. It's not overly, overly, I mean, obviously it's fitted, but it's not overly tight fitted. I've got a long sleeve tee on and I've still got plenty of room to manoeuvre. So it's, it's a comfortable fitted dress. So that's the Dorothy. So that will be the fourth one, shall we say, on my Loopy Mabel's Closet collection. Can I say that? So yeah, so, and obviously we've got the ruffle dress, which I've called Primrose, the Primrose ruffle dress. I absolutely love this one with the ruffle round the neck and the sleeves. So again, that was in cotton poplin. So I think these two dresses definitely can be made in cotton lawn, cotton poplin, linens, chambres. And the pinafores can be made in anything really. Obviously corduroy, velvet would be nice. Again, the chambre, linen, any, any, I think any fabric will go really well with this. And for the olive blouse, a lovely drapey viscose, or even a cotton lawn, yeah, a cotton lawn, it would be quite nice too. So that's what I'll be working on next, this one. It's all go here, I'm telling you. And I can show you actually the fabric. Shall I show you the fabrics that have come for the next collection? So here is the fabrics that I was talking about that's come that is going to be made into the olive blouse I'll just get it down just to show you a bit more so the olive blouse originally is this one here but when I do the pattern it will have the two options of how you can finish it so you can finish it with the like the frill at the bottom gorgeous in a nice drapey fabric or you can leave it straight down with the buttons at the back or you can just have it in the straight looser fitting blouse without the longer frill but the fabric that I've got is viscose which is going to go perfectly for the one with the frill so we've got this one which is like corally pinks and rusts and mustards and spicy orange burnt orange gorgeous colors in this one and these are all viscose so beautiful drape so i've got plenty there to make a good selection of sizes so that's the first one then the second one it is absolutely gorgeous i love this one this is like a tealy blue background with like creamy stone, ditzy, plainish flower. How gorgeous is that? And then this gorgeous mustard background, mustard ochre, like a I think it's classed as curry, a curry colour and with these little white ditzy flowers and little sprigs. I think they're black, those sprigs, or navy blue, I'm not quite sure what colour they are. I've got my glasses on. So that's that one, which is really pretty. And the last one is this gorgeous black background with purple, blue and burnt orange in the flowers really pretty and just got so much drape so that's what is earmarked for the olive blouse so that's the next collection so I just need to get the proper pinny for finalized and listed in the shop the pattern already published and all finished complete and then I'll make a start on that the olive blouse I'll keep you posted obviously as I do so that's what's been going on so far I think 
yep that's it so far i have have i done any sewing this week uh as in for myself i don't think i've done any sewing for myself this week uh, yeah oh, of course i did i made three long sleeve tops just basic self-drafted long sleeve tops with the just the normal crew neck super easy to make and obviously because they're self-drafted fit like a glove yeah so i think that's all i've made this week for myself because obviously i've been busy making poppy pinafores but really enjoyed it i got myself into a little rhythm first the first one i was making i was all, all thing, fingers and thumbs as you do even though i've made two of them beforehand for myself but when I come to obviously make the batch of them, I was like fingers and thumbs, couldn't get myself into a, like a, a routine. So the second one I did, I changed the um, order that I did certain things in. That was a lot quicker. And by the time I got to the third one, I was whizzing through them. I got a right a proper little routine. And obviously, which is also good actually, because it helped me in writing the stages for the instructions for when they become a pattern, which is the best way to put it all together as well for you people out there who buys the pattern so it's been a good it's been a good learning curve as well for me too so yeah so that's what's been going on here at loopy mabel's headquarters another another cat in the, in the room today don't know where they all are everybody's asleep john's fast asleep the cats are all asleep so just me wide awake at Loopy Mabel's headquarters today. So onto my little mini winter fabric haul. So obviously I'm a blogger for Felicity Fabrics and I absolutely love their fabrics. I was getting their fabrics long before I was blogging for them. They have just got a brilliant eye for choosing beautiful quality fabrics. Right up my street type of thing. So I've got my next blog fabric which they have sent me and I went this obviously this will be in my Felicity Fabrics blog but I'll show you it. So this is this gorgeous dusky pink like herringbone and it is herringbone rose it's described as and this is 60% poly 35% viscose and 5% spandex in this and it's just it feels like wool you know like a wool blend and this is going to be obviously earmapped for my next blog post for Felicity Fabrics but I just got to show you that beforehand. It's really thick, it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this as yet, but that is my next fabric for Felicity Fabrics. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's so soft. It just looks and feels like proper wool, 100% wool, but it's not. It's, I mean, it's just amazing what the fabric manufacturers can produce these days. I mean, this looks and feels like pure new wool, but it, it's not at all. How much has it got any wool in it? No, so there's no wool in it at all. So that's that one. And then these are all wintry fabrics. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. These are all wintry autumn colours and weight type of fabric. So I've got the two dobbies, but they've got a little bit of sparkle in them. So I've got this gorgeous rust colour. Let me see if I can get the... So one is khaki and one is mocha. So this is the mocha and it's metallic, classed as metallic dobby and it's got 96% viscose, 2% metallic and 2% nylon. So I've got obviously the mocha. Can you see the how it's catching the light? But not overly, it's not overly metallic. Just nice and subtle and again in the car key how gorgeous is that so these two i've got earmarked to make um pussy ball blouses again i really do love that pattern that i did the other week the sawholic uh oakridge blouse really love the bow tie detail around the neck so you can have that but you can dress it down and make it casual underneath the pinny fall. But then again, you can keep, you can have it smarter for a more formal look with a suit or something like that. And I just really love that look. So I fancy doing two more of those or something similar. I may have a go 
after after my own if I've got time. If not, it'll be two more of those blouses. So that's what that's earmarked for. And then I've got this absolutely gorgeous two-tone grey fabric. Again, there's no wool. Oh yeah, there is. I was going to say, because this definitely feels like there's wool in it. 6% wool, so it's only a little bit of wool in this. 52% acrylic and 42% poly... Ethylene, I think it is, but it feels like wool. And I thought this is going to make a fab pinafore of some sort. I can picture a pinafore, maybe an A-line pinafore with some nice chunky buttons over a polo neck jumper or something like that. Lovely wintry outfit. So I thought, yes, let's have a go at working with something like this. I've never stitched with anything this heavy or this... Um, structured type of fabric before and I thought yeah perfect or even gorgeous airline type of skirt with maybe some buttons up the front not sure but it just looks like it's proper 100% wool doesn't it but there's only 6% 6% amazing Totally amazing what they can do these days. Now this one, I haven't got a swatch card, so I'm not sure, but again, I think it's probably the same composition as the grey one. Couldn't resist this one. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is just like heaven. And it is, again, it's so soft. I'll open it up a bit more so you can see. Can you see? It's just like this dark tartan type of check plaid is it you say in the united states is it plaid plaid um plaid is it plaid i'm not sure how you say it it feels like um felt like you know like um yeah felt it is a soft it's 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 soft it, in fact it's a little bit softer than that gray actually and again this is earmapped for a lovely penny for possibly penny for airline penny for i've got i've got this thing for airline at the moment maybe airline pinny for or a skirt like i say a skirt I'm not sure i think i've got a meter and a half of this i'm not sure i can't remember how much i got of this so but yeah i just couldn't resist this it's absolutely gorgeous and how good do these two in fact a pinny for will be ideal how good does that go underneath as a blouse underneath and also the mocker too picks out there's like browns in there so either of those two fabrics are gonna go gorgeous with that so i'm really pleased with this little fabric haul from felicity fabrics as i say their fabrics never disappoint never disappoint so i'd hopefully like to get some sewing started on this little pile in the next week or so but i'll keep you posted so i think that's it for this week's cozy vlog so obviously i'll keep you updated as how things are progressing here at loopy mabel's headquarters oh and i'm going to have another move around at the weekend my mum's going to come over and she's going to help me i want to move my cutting station which is by the window at the moment away from the, the window because it's totally i just can't get round all the way around when i'm cutting and it's back breaking uh, just leaning over the same spot all the time so i need it away from the window so i'm going to move that out i'm going to move my computer my printer and my like office area which is over here behind the camera i'm going to move it along so that will then become in front of the window and then my cutting station i think is going to come over here behind me and I, depending on where, what me and my mum can manage to move around, I will be sat somewhere, possibly over there, I'm not sure, but on my next vlog you will see the results of our labour. So my mum's come around Sunday morning and it'll probably take us all day because there's so much to move. And also, what I don't use, I am going to take out and put in my summer house just to store it in there which will then give me more room in here because there's quite a lot of stuff in here that I don't use very often or is not sewing related or just doesn't get used enough 
to warrant being in here. So it'll all go out there in my summer house, which is perfectly secure, safe and dry. Lovely big summer house. That'll go out there and hopefully I'll have a little bit more space in here to move around when I'm cutting out and what have you. But I'll keep you posted so you'll see you'll see the results on my next vlog. So that's, I think that's it for today. Um, and my coffee's, my coffee's nearly cold, not quite. So that's it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for all your support. As I've said this before, thank you so, so much. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, I really do enjoy your company. I feel as if I'm talking to you all over a cup of coffee. I don't feel like I'm just talking to a camera. I feel as if I'm literally sat in a room and a lovely cozy chat amongst sewing friends. And your support is just amazing. So thank you so, so much. And I'll keep you posted on how well my poppy peony fours do. And obviously, as soon as my pattern is ready to go, you'll be the first to know, obviously. So thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and if you just found me and you'd like to follow along with me and follow along with it is a sewing journey, a bit of a cliche but it is my sewing journey. I am definitely taking a certain route and I'm just following along that route that it's taking me and enjoying every minute of it. So please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with me. I think I've done enough waffling so I shall leave you for today and I shall see you on my next video but until the next time thanks for joining me today as I always say please take care and happy sewing.